10 energetic women spend hours cutting open dozens of boxes and pulling out an assortment of games, dolls, and trucks, and then stack them on shelves in a basement room at the Society of Organized Services in Parksville in preparation for the opening of the Toy Shop. It's community giving to community, and it's the generosity of community that makes this program work. Is there room over there to get a box of cars and trucks? The Caring for Kids at Christmas program got its start 38 years ago. The program was really about the community coming together. Our founders, as an organization, went to all of the different church groups and organizations that were doing little Christmas hamper programs and said, what if we pool all of our resources, we do one big program, we have all the volunteers come together, and that way we can serve everyone, and we can serve everyone equally. The program has evolved from giving out hampers with food and gifts to those in the Oceanside area needing a helping hand at Christmas time, to them being able to come in to pick out an appropriate gift from the toy shop themselves. You must be a resident of the area, so for us that's uh, the same area, School District 69. So you have to have proof of residency. We ask for uh, care cards for any children that you have um, custody of. And then uh, we ask you a few simple questions about income, although um, we don't ask you to prove income. And then you're welcomed into the program and there's some lovely volunteers who come and support you as you go through the program. They make Christmas a little bit more special for up to 1,000 families. Last year we were just shy of 1,200 adults and uh, 1,150 children that we supported through the program. We anticipate to have at least that much again this year. So uh, it's p individuals right from the noose up to Bowser and out to Whiskey Creek. And everything from, uh, as we said, individual adults, we have single parent families, we have two parent families who are working very low paying jobs that we're trying to support. We support grandparents who are raising grandchildren and just uh, individual seniors who are living alone, may not have family here, and who are living on very low fixed incomes. So we'll help anybody who really needs that help. Once approved, registered recipients are booked for a personal shopping experience at the toy shop. And we choose one main gift. Uh, we also we encourage every parent to take a book for a child. Every family gets a game or a video, uh, a stuffy if the child if it's age appropriate for the child, and then they get to choose a couple of stocking stuffers. We bundle all of that up for uh, our families and, and grandparents, and we send them out the door feeling like they're going to be able to make Christmas magic for their kids. All of the toys come from the community. We buy nothing. We also ask the community to donate cash, and that cash is used to purchase those grocery store gift cards, and, uh, and then we provide every individual or family with a dollar amount appropriate to the size of the family so that they can go out and purchase what's important. The Caring for Kids at Christmas program is supported by one SOS staff member, but it's the volunteers who maintain and operate it. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Ned Lucas.